these are just perfect conditions. This is exactly what I wanted. Waiting for a day for the right conditions for the mist to form. If you look all around me, this is fantastic mist. You might be able to see behind me. Um, just behind me here is actually a flock of geese on the water. And that is what I'm particularly after this morning. So our plan is, with this mist, which is looking just about perfect, the amount of it, I'm gonna try and get some shots of the, the geese. I get too excited, I can't speak. Um, I'm gonna try and get some shots of the geese flying out of the mist, into the mist, I don't care, just geese and mist. Um, excellent conditions overnight, really low winds, dropped into single figures, that's why we've got this mist today. It does feel quite cold this morning, hence the hat. It's, uh, was it, last day of August, or tomorrow's the last day of August. Plan is today, I've found a couple of new places, so I've got like two locations where I can shoot towards the water, shoot towards the mist, where I think there's a good chance the geese are gonna come up, where they're gonna fly. And really this sort of relies on the geese flying to and from feeding grounds in the morning and in the evening, but I find the mornings a bit more, a bit more reliable. The plan is uh, the geese are gonna come off the water, gonna get that mist surrounding them, and I'm gonna be in a good vantage point to take advantage of it. I've never said advantage twice in a sentence, that's weird. The sun is coming up right behind me here, which is gonna be due oh, any time in the next 10 minutes, probably. Can you hear the geese? Geese right over there. Oh, they were just making an absolute racket then. It was so noisy. Right. So this is the lake behind me. This is one of the, the new vantage points that I checked out. And I think this is just perfect if there's geese on it, but there don't seem to be any geese on it. <laughs> so there are geese on the first lake when I arrived. So it's a case of either I stay here, I'll just wait it out, which I probably should do, or I'll go back to the other lake. Oh my God, it's, goose is just dropping in. It's really important with this kind of shoot that you get here before the sunrise. So yes, the best conditions are probably going to be as the sun's coming up and shortly after, but you want to get here before so you're in position to make the most of it. So I did get here about 20 minutes before sunrise today. And as you can see, uh, just on the tip of my hat there, the sun is just breaking the horizon. It's just, it's not the true horizon because it's just a little bit of that hillside, uh, but it's just starting to break through here and you know the next hour is going to be fantastic conditions and just some light now is just starting to touch the, the mist and the hedgerows and the reeds over that side so there was no light at all when I arrived which you'd expect you still get like a nice cool um, cool kind of cast to it which I really like but once you get that light coming through it's going to colour that mist and it's just going to transform it. incredible how much the mist changes it just changes so much as the sun starts to rise it can be like just a little bit here and there then it gets thicker then it starts to move then it starts to dissipate then it gets thicker again I just you, that's why you never know what shots you're gonna get in the mist because it just can always look different depending on where the mist is and how much of it there is I always use the same technique when I'm shooting into the mist so I use automatic ISO that just gives you a bit less to think about I maybe talk about that a bit more in another video so automatic ISO on aperture priority with a fairly wide aperture and then the important thing is as well that I always overexpose a little bit so when I first get here I might overexpose by plus one or maybe plus one and a third when it's still quite dark before the sun's come up um, once the sun is up then I'll still overexpose but a bit less I'll overexpose by about plus two thirds so that's pretty standard for me in these conditions now is to overexpose by about plus two thirds and that just stops it from underexposing too much in the right place, huh?
Do you know what? It's an absolutely beautiful morning. It's just gorgeous, as it always is in these conditions. However, in terms of photography, it's actually been pretty terrible. Uh, I've had a couple of opportunities, a couple of flocks, flocks of geese, but nothing amazing and nothing like what I was after. But that's wildlife photography for you. That's how it goes. I'm going to have to keep coming back uh, in the right conditions and keep trying again. Uh, with this lake as well, I keep banging on about, right here, shooting across in this direction here is pretty much where the sun sets in an evening so that's another opportunity if I get any geese flying around as they do around sunset then I could get some really nice color there so I have tried it but I've been unlucky but as for the morning the morning mist shots I'll definitely keep trying I'll come back in the right conditions and eventually I'll get those shots and uh, to be honest I'll probably try another couple of videos here doing the same thing if, if that's not gonna bore you too much and um, yeah, thanks for watching. If you want to see more videos like this one, like this vlog, which I know some people enjoy more, and I enjoy making them more, to be honest, then click this, uh, whatever I've decided to put up in this corner. I don't know what it is yet. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching, and enjoy your photography, and I'll see you somewhere in nature sometime soon.